What's up guys, Legion here. Welcome to chapter 2. And yes, everyone can be a landowner in chapter 2. And I don't mean like actually having an NFT farmland. Even though you can do that with Lootrush and Plots.Finance projects that I uh, actually use. You will actually have landowner gameplay in chapter 2. Pixels created so much uh, for the spec that you will actually feel and play like a landowner on your spec. You will be able to upgrade it a lot to actually go through a lot of content on your spec. Like you have no business being on a farmland if you are not level 40 for that skill. So from 0 to 40 you will be your own boss on your own spec. So this is what you, this is what you get. Plus 6 soil plus a small mine and plus a little house. Yes, you even get your own house. How cool is that? And now you will have a lot more responsibilities on uh, managing your uh, small plot of land. And you have to take decisions on what do I focus on? This is another example of a spec from uh, Cold War, uh, friend uh, content creator of uh, ours. And you can um, see here uh, focus on mining and uh, a lot more decorations that fill space. It's not a focused uh, spec per se either. Of course, I'm not expecting to see uh, specialized specs until like one month into chapter two, when we start getting everything we need and we figure out what and how. But yeah, in this video, I will uh, share with you some tips and tricks on uh, how to make the most out of your, uh, your spec. This is not a new player guide by any means. I will do that uh, once we have a foothold on uh, chapter 2 and uh, things start to settle. But yeah, let's have some fun uh, decorating. Decorating, of course, with the air quotes. We are only using uh, stuff that has utility like industries or storage chests or the house or whatever. And uh, by the way, if you don't want to cook, you can uh, you are not uh, required to put the house down like if you have a full spec with storage chest you will get the house in the email i would suggest you put the house down because uh, it gives you energy and uh, it has a task board you have that option if you if you want it now on this spec you can see specialization towards uh, metalworking of course and a bit of mining and woodworking and of course the storage chest very um, accessible can you use all those metal working benches at once? Not really. Not even with the 3.3 uh, minutes craft. You will have to run around a lot to use all of them. And mostly we have like copper bars, uh, copper screws and copper nails. They're, they keep increasing the time on, on those. I swear they were 12 seconds, then 30 seconds and now they increase it to 1 minute. So yeah, stuff is still changing. They added some uh, bulk crafting. So yeah, if you craft stuff that takes 80 minutes, of course, you will need more than six. With copper screws taking 12 seconds, with six of those, you can just uh, permanently craft screws. So we need to wait and see uh, what are the final times on those. They keep increasing it. But yeah, you want to have the option to have more than less, of course. More is more. Remember, those prices are, are um, up to change, so don't take those as final. It got pretty big, you can start with this. In the beginning, I think this is uh, more than enough, but 5,000 coins is, like, is very cheap. This is like the, the second upgrade, or level 3. Again, very spacious. Let's go with the 50k. This is like half a land already and very important before chapter 2 is live make sure to put a kiln or a woodworking bench on the spec because they will be turned into tier 2 see they will uh, be converted to tier 2 kits and you cannot put tier 2 kits on your spec yet see i cannot put it until i uh, upgrade it with pixel of course it will be cheap and you will be upgrading it anyway 
but you will get a head start if you already have a kit on your on your land. Like I uh, I just got started with a stone shaping kit on my land, and I had no idea that I cannot put it back, and I removed it. So yeah, don't make this mistake. Make sure you have uh, either a kiln or a woodworking bench on your spec for the conversion on 17, and do not remove it. Trust me, it will help you a little. It will help you until you get the, the upgrade. But yeah, let's get the upgrade as well. Upgrade, bro, this is huge. Like this is this is enough space for you to level up to level 40. And let's get the final one just to, yeah. Trust me, you you will work a lot to fill this up. So this is maximum at the moment. And what do we do on our uh, huge land? Well, of course, we decorate it with uh, cute things and mushrooms. I'm just kidding, guys. If decorating your spec was the first uh, idea that you have, like you're watching the wrong channel, we have a big spec to fill it, to fill it with industries and level up super fast and get good. That's why we have a huge spec. So let's get started. Let's put the house just to see it. You start with a tier one stove and your own task board. So you don't have to go to the store. You can buy more in the store. So this is not a full replacement for the store. This is just like a fun little thing. And you can also upgrade the house, but make sure to use it every, every 24 hours. Now let's go to house manager and let's upgrade it. You can put some industries in here. I, I saw people putting industries in the house, but I want them accessible. So why would I craft inside the house? Of course, you can uh, you can uh, have trees. You craft trees in the woodworking benches. I will have tutorials for all of those. So, I have some tips for you when solving this puzzle. That uh, I don't think there is a one size fits all solution. It also depends on the speed on your pet. Depends on uh, what type of industries do you use on the spec and uh, so on. But they mostly are the same sizes, most of all. Like the width of two trees is um, exactly the same as the width of uh, a normal uh, small industry. And that is three soil plots. I think the soil plot to be used as uh, the standard measuring uh, unit is, works pretty well except with trees. Trees are outside of that system for some reason. And mine is a uh, four for uh, soil plots. It's four by four, and the normal industries are three by two. And also those trees do not fit exactly on, uh, on that scale. See, there is, there is one pixel difference or one fifth of a soil plot. I don't even know what to call this. But if you stack trees on top of each other, you will uh, get out of sync compared to the normal uh, industries. So keep that in mind because it's a uh, it will mess up a bit. So now that we know the the standard sizes for uh, tier two stuff, let's look at an example. This is as full as I could uh, fit a spec. I have like half a soil plot of wasted space here. I do not recommend you having all of the industries on your spec because it, it's a way too big of a spread for the normal player and you will not be able to level them all up. You will, I think it's, it's uh, too much work for a normal player to, to level them all up because getting to level 40 using tier 2 industries on all of them, it's, it's too much in my opinion. So I will talk about that in the new player guide with the skill combos that I would use like farming and cooking, woodworking and um, forestry or mining with the other two. Mining works with either of the stone shape or, or metal crafting. Of course, if even focusing on one skill is good, but that's not the subject of this video. It's very relevant in the subject of making the most of, out of your spec because you won't have to fit all the different types of industries. You will just have to fit your main uh, one or two industries that you want on your uh, spec. Let me show you a bit how they work. You can step off soils. We all know that. Metalworking, you can fit them together. 
they are stuck together you can walk through them no problem with mines you can walk through them horizontally but you cannot walk through them vertically see i'm stuck here same with woodworking you can walk through them no problem with trees tree, you get stuck in trees but yeah you can walk through them the same as mines but you cannot walk through them vertically and if you combine a mine with a, with a woodworking you cannot go through it and the stone shapers are the opposite to the woodworking benches you can walk through them uh, uh, vertically but you cannot walk through them horizontally see i'm stuck here so keep that into consideration when you plan the layout of your farm the industry sizes changes for the stone shapers and mines but nobody is using tier 1 so i um, i focused on the tier 2 stuff house is exactly the size of two metal works put on top of each other and yeah one storage chest is one uh, soil plot you can also use the soil as a like a walkway in case you have like an industry that get you get you stuck but mostly industries have one way or the other to to work and you don't really have to waste space just to work except if you are a, a lumberjack cutting trees another tip or principle of uh, landscaping your spec or land is to put your most used stuff close to the gate like your most important uh, storage chest with uh, with the materials that you need for something most often or the most used uh, for crafting uh, stuff that you need or i don't know so you don't have to walk a lot like if you if you are uh, cooking this is not where you need to put your house like already you have to enter the house to to use the stove you don't want to put yourself at uh, an even further disadvantage another tip would be to place the biggest first like the house and the mines they occupy the most space so you can place them down and then and then uh, build your uh, spec uh, from that or uh, put the smaller things like storage chest between the spaces that you couldn't fill with your main industry for example and by no means you need to have a, a straight road from your gate you can just walk on the side maybe i don't know i will be very excited to see what um, layouts you come up with and another more obscure tip would be to start from the corner because if you start from the middle you might be a little bit offset and then realize when you get to the corner that you have like half a soil uh, of space left and you have to move everything on the whole spec to, to fit it better so you don't lose a full, uh, a full row so that that is a very important uh, obscure tip start from a corner after you get your main layout so you don't uh, have to redo your whole spec afterwards and that would be it for this video stay tuned for more uh, pickles alpha and uh, tutorials for chapter 2 i can't wait to get those out and have fun digging out